Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley from Lace Spirit Designs and this is another Artist Alley vlog. today another six hour one day and I thought it was a six foot table it is definitely an eight foot table so we're just kind of pretending like it's a six foot table today Every convention vlog that this is featured in, people ask me in the comments, what is that? Do you want to tell them what it is? No, you have to guess. No, just tell the people. No, I can't, I'm cheating. He's can't walking tell the people. He's walking his Pokemon eggs. I don't know if there's a panel going on or something, but it's an hour until the end of the show and there's nobody in this hall.
getting ready to tear down. We sold out of the Pikachu and Eevee stickers, which I'm pretty sure these are gonna be gone gone. And we sold out of the purple variant of the Halloween tote, which also will probably be gone gone. Sticker sheets did not get very messed up today, which means I didn't sell very many of them. And I shockingly have all of my sticker books still available. So pretty decent for a one day show. Now it's time to go home. Let's go get some sushi, which I'm gonna splurge on because we brought our lunch for once. Okay, so we are at the part of the video where I talk about how the convention went, my thoughts on it, and also where I talk about the profits versus expenses for being at this show. And if you're new here, I like to discuss the numbers in this video in percentages, but if you wanna see the actual dollar amounts that I made and spent at this show, you can check out my Patreon for $5 or more, and you can see all of the dollar amounts, all the details, and not only for this show, but for all the other Art or Sally vlogs that I've done. So a little bit of backstory. Uh, Lodi Comic Con is run by the same people who put on Stockton Con, and it's one of their four shows that they do a year. They do two Stockton Con events and they do two Lodi events. And this was the first time we've ever done Lodi Comic Con. I heard good things about it. It's a one day show. It's a quick drive just a couple hours north from us. And so it's not too labor intensive on either of us. And I think it might be one that I need to kind of keep trying and building up a client base. And I did realize that there were a lot of people there who recognized me from Sack Anime or from Stockton Con. And I did actually get to meet one of my patrons, which was so cool. So thank you for coming up and saying hi to me. But I do know that there was, I mean, for the tiny room that we were in and it was a small artist alley, there were a lot of people packed into that show. And I don't know if like, maybe because of the timing of the year where taxes had just been due, but it was certainly not as profitable as Vacacon. That being said, it was still decent for me. I still made quite a profit and it wasn't, you know, anything to write home about, but it's another show that I don't have to be upset about losing money on. Like I had a lot of shows last year that I barely broke even and it wasn't worth the time. So overall, I'm really happy I'm going to try out their fall event as well in September, I think. Is it September? But I always do Stockton Con Summer, which will be in July, so I'll definitely be there. But overall, there was a good crowd. Everybody was really friendly. There was a lot of buildings that the show was split up between, and I think it gave a lot of people, you know, room to spread out, lots to see. And I do feel like the traffic, considering that, was, was done well, because I was worried that there were so many buildings that people weren't gonna find the Artist Alley, but they definitely did. So overall, it was a great show. I'm gonna try it again in the spring or in the fall and see how that one does for me. But let's get right into it. Here's the pie chart. And again, it's a pretty decent pie chart. I mentioned at the end of the day in the vlog that we did end up bringing our lunch for a change. I told Ryan we have to start cutting down on our meal costs because it just kills me. So we had breakfast at home, Actually, he picked us up breakfast. I insisted that he paid for it because I wasn't going to. So we had breakfast and we packed a lunch and then I treated us to dinner. So we're gonna try that moving forward and see how much money I can save doing that. And of course, he was really bored. So I let him pick what we were gonna eat and he picked sushi. So the food cost was still kind of high on the pie chart, but overall it wasn't bad. Table cost was the other, was the highest. And then credit card fees and Tesla charging fees were the only other expenses that we had. It felt like it was a cash heavy show, but I did end up doing higher card sales. But I think I had more cash transactions than I had card transactions. People were just putting higher purchase items on their cards. But I heard everybody else saying that it was a lot of cash, very little card spending. So, but yeah. Nice pie chart. So if you wanna see what those actual dollar amounts are, you can check out my Patreon for $5 more. I wanted to very quickly, if you guys don't know, I have a PO box. I don't talk about it a lot, but sometimes you guys find it and will send me things. And so I had a very lovely little letter sent to me by Glumicus. 
I hope I'm saying that right, but they sent me some really, really cute items and stickers and a cute little note. So thank you so much for writing to me and I will definitely keep making Artist Alley vlogs. So that being said, we are getting close to crunch time for the next con, which is Anime Riverside. That will be Saturday and Sunday, Memorial Day weekend in uh, Riverside, California. It'll be my first time at this show. I know it's like, I think the second year they've done this show. We will be at Artist Alley table 33. I'll put a map up here on, on the screen. And yeah, that will be the convention debut of Periwinkle. I also have some other very special Periwinkle related items that I'll be debuting at that show. And I'll talk about them in next week's vlog, which will be an Anime of Riverside prep vlog. But if you want to try and grab your own Periwinkle right now, as you are seeing this, I have launched a very small amount of them in the shop. So you can grab him now if you want. I also have some very lovely Pride Deco stickers up for pre-order. Those are hoping to ship in early June, so you can have them for Pride Month. And yeah, so come and see me next weekend at Anime Riverside if you're gonna be in the area. And if not, grab a boy on the website. And with that, I will leave you guys to the rest of your weekend, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye, baby.